My name is Jim Rice. I'm a professor of history at the State University of New York at Plattsburgh. I'm currently a fellow at the Rachel Carson Center in Munich, and I'm working on an environmental history of Native North America. Here I'm writing a big synthetic work of um, Native American environmental history throughout the human occupation of North America and from Mexico to the Arctic Circle. I foresee having four main narrative threads running through this book. One would focus on natural history. I begin with Chicago under a mile of ice and end with uh, possibly by the time I finish the book, um, limited traffic through the Northwest Passage uh, to the north of Canada and the United States. Uh, there's a lot of climate change in there and so forth. So that would be one thread. Another thread would be um, knowledge systems, Native American People don't necessarily think in the same way that climate change scientists or archaeologists do. Uh, and regardless of you know, what actually happened, cultural patterns of belief guide how people behave, particularly in their relationships with nature. Um, a third thread would be um, landscapes and, uh, and culture. Landscapes and culture is an important thread because, again, people's imaginations get written onto the landscape. Uh, in the shape of their fields, in uh, you know, other practices that change the, the look of the land. And then finally, a fourth thread would be um, power. How one enters into a relationship with land is completely inextricable from relations between humans. I mean, at, a most, at the most fundamental level, for example, between women and men. Uh, on a broader level, it uh, uh, the colonization of, of North America is, um, was very much conducted through manipulation of the environment, through imposing uh, a, you know, a Western idea of how the landscape should look and what private property ownership meant and so forth on indigenous peoples. This more than the use of guns actually was, was how native peoples uh, have lost their land. So four main threads. Um, I guess also add that I'm coming at this from two perspectives. Uh, as I've said, there are difficulties with trying to tell a common history of so many different peoples across so much time and space. Um, I can do this. There are common threads. But at the same time, I want to highlight uh, some individual case studies of somewhere between 8 and 12 specific places, peoples, and times because none of these generalities matter if they don't match up with actual people we're doing in actual communities. So um, I'll be doing uh, at least site visits and some, um, uh, some field work in communities in Canada, Mexico, and the United States.